Valley offers all infertility treatments. Everything from donor sperm inseminations, artificial insemination, in vitro fertilization, using a gestational carrier, testing our embryos through pre-implantation genetic screening and diagnosis, and basically any fertility treatment option. Valley has vast experience with the LGBTQ community. We offer a variety of different infertility services for these couples. Treatments that are available for same-sex male partners involve using an egg donor to obtain the eggs or purchasing frozen eggs from an egg bank, and then using a gestational carrier to carry the pregnancy. We call the same-sex male partners, in this case, the intended parents. An egg donor is a woman who is donating her eggs. They have to undergo fertility treatments to mature the eggs, so they take hormone shots to grow the eggs on the ovaries, and then the eggs get removed during an outpatient surgical procedure called an egg retrieval. There are two options when a couple is interested in using an egg donor. They can either identify a donor, either through an agency or a practice that has donors available, an alternative option is for a couple to pursue an egg bank where frozen eggs have already been retrieved from donors and are available for use. A gestational carrier is a woman who is carrying a pregnancy for another couple. The pregnancy that she is carrying has not been created from her egg. A gestational carrier can be found either through an agency or a couple may have a friend or a family member that would like to participate as their gestational carrier. When couples are pursuing a pregnancy with either an egg donor or sperm donor or a gestational carrier, there are specific consents involved and legal contracts involved to protect the rights of the intended parents. Every insurance company is different. We can never anticipate what will be covered. We have to investigate each couple's plan or each individual's plan. We have a team of financial counselors and advisors that can help couples to interpret their own infertility benefits, educate them about what treatments may be covered and what treatments are not covered, and what options for assistance are available if a patient does not have infertility treatment coverage.